Hey guys, welcome to the conclusion video for the 2017 Land Rover Discovery Sport 2 litre TD4 HSE that we had on test and we borrowed this car, don't forget, from Kevin Giles Motors KevinGilesMotors.ie The car was for sale when we were reviewing it I don't know if it still is, go on the website and have a look Let's have a look at the conclusion video here and see what we thought and how it scored compared okay, to so let's see what we have As you can see, there's huge clearance I'm not on the ground anymore Anyway, okay, let's go through the categories so, on this particular car, 20 inch wheels, black alloys with off-road tires, I think they look great. I was worried they'd compromise the ride. They do not in any way, shape or form. They are not loud, they are not uncomfortable, they work really well. Right, lovely, lovely wheels. Headlights, best headlights we've tested yet on a car. These are LED headlights with LED strips. They have great range, they run the life of the car. The LED headlights, brilliant it's just the way to do it it's so much better xenons were a great upgrade on halogen bulbs when they came out leds are better again than xenons so there are things to do if you can get led headlights do it it's your way to do it other styling touches i like the panoramic roof on this i like the black wheels as i said and the running bars down the side love the electronic tailgate like the panoramic roof and like the seven seat idea combined because there's a lot of space. You'd be worried that if you're sitting in a seven seater and you're in the back row, that's very, very dark and dismal and you're not really happy. But the, the light roof in this is fantastic. It's just sun, no matter what's happening, it's really, really cool. I actually, I also have a real personal preference on panoramic roofs for driving around at night under streetlights because it's just great with the light as it comes in and goes through the cabin and flows out the back. It's, it's a real nice ambient atmosphere. Really, really happy with that. Um, this car also has folding mirrors, which is handy in a car park. You're not going to get bashed by some Egypt parking beside you who's too close. I do like that idea. I actually have them in my car and I use them to tell me that the car is locked. So, you know, small touches. Right, the seats. The front seats are a great, good driving position. Really, really supportive. Very comfortable. They're all leather in this car. Front seats are heated. Uh, and it's very simple to find a good commanding driving position. You're up very high in this car. You have great visibility all around you. The mirrors are huge. It's not really a blind spot. Uh, it's, it's nice and simple to see where you're going and get comfortable while you're doing it. There is an issue with the touch screen in the middle. I just couldn't reach the buttons. I'm not huge. Taller people won't have this problem. I had that problem because the, the dashboard is angled slightly. So I just had to lean forward a little bit just to reach them. I haven't had that before. Um, I understand why they're doing it because the whole dash has a nice slope design, which is in keeping with the rest of the car. It makes sense. But I just found that a little tricky. That, that just didn't sit right with me. There's great air ventilation. I love getting air in my face when we're driving. We all know that. Uh, good air ventilation in this car. I like it. And the auto mirrors, auto lights, auto wipers. Yep, that works. There's USB input and a card for the sat-nav in the center console between the seats. And there's a charging socket. So that's fine. There's also a charging socket in the back. And there's one here in the boot. I'm looking at it right now. So there's plenty of ways to charge your various contraptions when you're on the move. So that makes a lot of sense. Happy with that. Uh, there's power sockets, as I said, reading lights, um, armrest, good headrest, lots of space in the back seat. Really nice place for people to spend time in the back. Uh, and it's a seven-seater with a huge boot. So if you're not carrying seven people, the boot is cavernous. If you are carrying seven people, you can do it in this car. So you can take the kids to school along with all their friends. There's no problem. They can charge from the back and charge from the front. So there's enough charging ports for the various devices. So it's well thought out as a family car. You could pack loads of gear in here going away or you could pack loads of people in here going away. You have a choice. So I like the new dashboard. It's the same to what we saw recently in the Jaguar F-Pace that we had on test. The very same dashboard. The only difference is it says Land Rover on the wheel instead of Jaguar. Uh, same paddle shift and so on. It's, it's nice. I like it. It's much better than the older Jaguar dashboards. I like the panel roof. I love this electric tailgate idea. Really sold on this. I had the same problem with all Jaguar, Jaguar automatic gearboxes with the rotary selector. I like the rotary selector idea. It looks great, but you can't manually override the gear change from the rotary selector. You've got to do it for the paddle shift. Brilliant. Except when you're turning a wheel. Then the paddle isn't. The paddle was here, but isn't anymore. So just bear that in mind if you do a lot of manual shifting in an automatic. I don't see the reason to do it really in this car. This is not a sports car. It's not supposed to be a sports car. So I don't see the reason you need to do it. Um, there's a real great feeling of quality in this car. I haven't seen this now for quite a while in Land Rover Discoveries. I like the feel of quality in this car. Everything feels well screwed together and it's going to last the test of time. It's fantastic leather. The seats are nice and comfortable and good quality, good support structure. Everything's put together really well. I like it. Road holding. 
really, really good. Was a little worried because she's off-road suspension and off-road wheels and they're 20 inch wheels. I thought the road hauling might be compromised a bit, not a bit of it. Road hauling, top notch. Braking, very, very good. Power delivery is really good. There's a great torque band in this Ingenium engine. It really has a wide range and the nine speed box picks that up nicely and they're very, very well matched. So if I was buying a Land Rover Discovery and I needed a diesel, this is the one I'd be looking at. The two liter TD4, not SD4. The TD4 is 180 horsepower all you need in a car this size it drives really really well the gear shift is nice the the ratios are well spaced you can put it in sport mode it holds the gears longer or you can manually override it yourself it's it's nice car to drive really really happy with that the view from the mirrors the back the rear window is actually bigger than we saw on the f-pace yesterday and i thought the f-pace was good so this is really i like it right and the white the side mirrors are very good when reversing the car it's dead easy there's loads of visibility and you have a fantastic camera so it's it's hard to get wrong to be honest really really much simpler than it should be a car this size but it's not a problem absolutely not a problem so sensors on the front sensors on the back rear camera that we've spoken about good uh, power steering really really easy to maneuver this thing uh, you have a hard time getting it wrong and it's got the standard jagger idea on rear cameras so when you turn the wheel if these are straight lines ahead of you turn the wheel and your wheels point this way the, the lines will show you where the car is going to go so it's very very simple to park these kind of things really happy really really enjoyed driving this car more than i thought it was going to and i was looking forward to it i thought it was going to be a nice drive it was a brilliant drive really like this car this one is going to score well because it's well put together well specced well thought out that's really what i'm after in cars well thought out cars that take the comfort of the people in the car into consideration right so really enjoy driving this now when we looked in the engine bay what do we find it's easy to find everything we were happy with that no real problem except maybe the coolant the level was a little tricky to read uh, in the coolant container because it's just down a little further than we'd like but other than that pretty good so overall, what does that give us in the journey of a petrol head score? I'll tell you now. The Land Rover Discovery 2 liter TD4 HSE Sport scores nearly 96% on our score rating. That's a massive score for a car like this. And it's a massive score for any car. It's really, really good though. It's a, I really like this. I would consider one of these for myself and that's saying quite a bit. I, I like the driving position, I like the driving dynamics, I like the level of quality, I like the level of equipment, I like the space, I like the seven seater, I like the way the seats are easy to get up and get down. It just, this works. I really like this car. Uh, so, like and subscribe guys and let's see if we can find somebody to beat it. I'm just going to take some doing. This is pretty good. I really like this one. Thanks again to Kevin Giles for giving us a lend of it. There she is there. Don't forget, sold with cartel history, warranty, the whole lot of it. Thanks, guys.